So we got the uh, birch tree. I, I got it imported in from uh, Beam, which is not that simple to do because it's got. Uh, well, it's, it's simple if you know how to fix it, but uh, when you, the one you import in, you got to edit the DAE, and you got to put these here, wherever you see texture, texture, where you see the one that's got the, like the sampler. There's three of them in this. You got to tell it to ignore those lines by putting. Uh, arrow explanation dash dash and then at the end dash dash arrow uh, the other direction that's how it, it tells it to ignore for whatever reason I don't know uh, this and it says blender authored it but maybe it's like yeah blender 2.79 and I don't really know uh, you know why it won't load but that's how you get it to fix to load in here and uh, you can forget getting the texture to work in here that's not important anyway you just leave the textures alone <clears throat> they'll work in the game even though they're black here so what you'll have to do is de decide how you want to break the tree I mean it's a lot of little leaves and stuff but I mean I think about something hitting a tree I just think about you know the damn trunk splitting you know Splitting in in a way that kind of like breaks, you know, so that it looks like it's uh, and I want to separate this into two different parts. So the part that's part A and the part that's part B. So like we'll say that be one part. We'll say mesh separate by selection. And that'll be known as part A. And the other half. Until it's broken some more. For the time being it'll just be. Part B. We'll apply all these transforms and uh, make a mod folder for a birch tree. Go in here, in the vehicles, make a new folder. Uh, folder birch. And we'll put a, one of our info files and pre filled out JBeam file and info file be the name of mod bird birch birch took me for I, forever to find that damn birch it was an automation test track I looked at every damn I looked at every I looked in every level until I that was like the last one I looked in that was the one it was in the automation test track Shit. Should have been the first one on the list, but I just went ass backwards and looked at them all differently. West Coast, East Coast, Jungle Rock, all the others. Finally, the last one was Automation Test Track. So on the desktop here, I got the uh, Birch.dae for that one I'm editing. So that's the only one I need to really put in here but all the textures uh, the main dot material file you know what I just copy all this stuff in there be done with it and we'll delete the CDAEs because those are cached versions of the mesh we don't need those the game will remake them uh, the main dot material file has got to be changed to See, all these are DDS. These are what's already been converted from the PNGs using their texture cooker thing. But it's got level slash automation slash blah 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 blah. See, that's not that's not going to be the case anymore. 
that's not going to be where it's at. It's going to be vehicle slash birch. That's where it's going to find its materials now. <clears throat> and that'll ensure that it'll load the materials from the right place from the mod mod I don't think any trees are made in the mod so this would be like one that's like the first one I guess alright now we got to make a J beam for the for the tree now I could probably just easily just export that thing as a J beam just that piece and then not gonna do that with the top because it'd be like a billion damn faces and stuff so um, yeah, I don't even have to use that I could just make my own little thing here and keep it simple I make a mesh cube that's roughly about the height of one of those splits that will also be the collision mesh and I'll duplicate it and this will be the top piece now I wouldn't recommend trying to make this bend at all using the primitive geometry for all that other geometry is just gonna it's gonna look like it's not gonna look good and as it is I already want to do a little trickery to make it so that it you can't ever depend on them edge detection you can't depend on that it ain't gonna it sometimes may not fall through but most of the time it will so these will be two separate J beams uh, for A so it'll be A's J beam and uh, it'll need a prefix I'll just put A Nope, that's the wrong thing, damn it. Prefix A. And then the uh, A goes to A and B goes to B. So this will be B J beam. And then I'll get a no fix of B. Prefix of B. So we'll apply it we'll select everything. Apply all transforms. I got the save our blender file, so we'll save that as in the birch folder. So we can export the J beam A and B J beam into there. Now we can export A and B by themselves as the DAE birch A dot DAE. I probably remove all these other DAEs out of here just to make sure it don't cause no problems. We don't want any problems. We don't want any problemas. No mucho problema today. So we just need bush, not bush, but aspen, not aspen, birch A, birch A. All the other DAEs. Hasta mañana. I don't know what the CS files are. 
I don't even use them anymore, I believe. But we'll leave all that. Now we'll overwrite the A and the D. B, I think I already did that. Export DAE overwrite with selection only. And then the flex bodies are going to be A and B. So we can load our node editor and load our pre filled out J beam into there. Of course, there's nothing there because there's no nodes or anything. That got sent to the exported folder. So A and B, there they are there. And that'll represent the two halves of the tree. So we need to copy that. We need to put them into the pre-filled out J beam, but we need to have two flex bodies, one for A, one for B. And we just call it group A and group B, make things easy. Now go down to the nodes, we got group A, and then we're going to have group B. So let's go get those nodes. Let's go get them. All right, there's the ones for A. And you see why making this a simple box is so much easier than trying to make a complicated thing. The less complicated, the more you can spawn. And this is about as simple as it gets. Two boxes. That's that's pretty simple. So now we're getting the beams and we're gonna put them in there. And we're gonna put the triangles in there. Now we can close the B and A here. We should be able to refresh our node beam editor here. And it should still have this here. Now <clears throat> we'll make a break group for this. So in one breaks they all break. So here we'll start the break group. Let me get that little line of code I don't know can't remember how to spell or exactly how this stuff goes so all right break group holds thing type zero means one break they all break this gets put at the end of whatever is the break group so it closes it out saying there's nothing else that's going to break here alright uh, and then we get up close to these here and we connect that to that that to that and that to this and this to that and you know we can probably connect that to this that one to this one, this one to that one, and that one to that one. And then just for safe measure, yeah, we can well we can just leave it. We'll just see what it does. Now it can't break if it's FLT max. So that would be just a dumb thing to put there. So we got to put uh, something that can break. We got to, not that, damn it. I said copy that. We'll paste that there. And the strength, well, we'll start on the light side. Let's just say 50,000. Beam spring, uh, we're gonna make that a lot stronger and give it a lot more damping. And, uh, probably a lot more weight cloth I just call it wood self collision faults let's leave that on true ground collision uh, <clears throat> now what I'll probably do is anchor 
the nodes on the bottom so that piece will stay it won't go anywhere you know when the tree breaks usually something stays behind so a I've never seen the tree break and that damn whole damn thing come out the ground unless some like a tornado got a hold to it so this AL0, AL4, AL6, AR2 uh, let's AL4 AR6 AR2 and they can't be in two places at once Remove them out of the top. And true. Fixed equals true. All right, let's load our tree. Let's load our tree. Hopefully, it'll load with no problems now this is just splitting at one time in one place you can you can make the thing break in a lot of places it just you have to just do cut whatever it is you want to break off and make it into a group and you can also add particles so like you get special kind of splinters and things unexpected wasn't it how rude I have a feeling it's these damn CS files these CDAEs wait a minute I might have deleted them out of the wrong place We're getting rid of all them impostors. We don't need none of them. I don't need none of that shit either. There ain't gonna be no impostors because well they're not using the LOD system. should have worked of course these are not the same Leaves autumn orange. So none of them, neither one of those damn materials. Are in here. Actually, I shouldn't have to put shit in here. Well, that's, in all honesty, that should be already a given 
it already exists. I think I may have just made it worse. Let's delete the temp folder and let's try it again. Yeah, I basically was creating a basically creating a second material named the same thing as another material and it's I can't do that. These these trees already the game already knows what these textures are. Should know what they are. Apparently didn't know what that one was, did it? Well, we sure did crack that one, didn't we? Oh, uh, well, let's go and try this again. We can probably, we probably can fix it. getting there.
I don't think this is mapped correctly. Well, I know I've never really looked at these trees up close. 